Thank you for clicking on this video. This is the LandOfCoins.com YouTube channel, and we're going to be going over the 1795 punctuated date, uh, the C2B variety. That's B as in boy, Bravo. And this one, uh, there's two different C2 varieties. Uh, the last one I did a video on, the C2A, that one has a lettered edge. The C2B does not have a lettered edge. And I'm going to show you how to identify that. And if you don't know what landacoins.com is, it's an online rare coin auction website that you can buy and sell your coins yourself. You can put coins on the website yourself and sell them with no buyer's fees and no seller's fees. Uh, so it's small monthly payment, but you can buy and sell an unlimited amount of coins. So check it out if you haven't already, landacoins.com. Uh, back to the 1795 half cent. Uh, if you see the coin with a punctuated date, and what I mean by punctuated date is this right here. Let me check it. See this little comma in between the 1 and the 7? Right here, I'll mark it for you. You'll see this little comma right there. So that's between the 1 and the 7. Just look at the date. If you see a little line there, which looks like a comma, that's a punctuated date, 1795 half cent. To determine if it's a C2B, as in Bravo, what you first have to look at is, first of all, the comma. This pole, there's a pole. It's a pole that actually extends here in the image. It's a, the, 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 the Liberty face with this pole with the cap on it. If you see this pole right here, and there's no edge letters. I'm going to show you what the edge letters look like. You'll see this is what the edge letters look like. Okay. If you see the edge letters, it's a 2A, C2A variety. If the coin is plain with no edge letters, it's a C2B. So if you're looking for C2B, that's what you want. You want the plain edge, and that'll dictate if it's a 2A or 2B. 2B is plain edge. Going back to the coin, we will, uh, and beyond that, on the obverse, which is the front of the coin, you're looking for the comma and the pole. On the reverse of the coin, you want 17 leaves on the left branch. There's this branch here. See this branch? You want to have 17 leaves there, and you want 16 leaves on the right branch over on this side. Also, there's little berries. You'll see them. There's little dots. You want four berries. And on this side, you want four berries. This is how you determine what variety half cent you have. And the berries, I'll count them real quick. There's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. You'll see them right on the end there. On the other side, you'll see one berry here, one berry here one berry here and one berry there and uh, of course the astute half cent collectors uh, to quickly identify the half cents they always see if the berries are on the left or right side of this ribbon you'll see this ribbon here there's a berry there and a berry there on the left and right side uh, that knock that immediately gets rid of, of, of two of the six varieties of the half cents one through Four have berries on the left and right side of the ribbon. But if you have all these characteristics and it's a plain edge, then you have a 1795C2B, as in Bravo, variety. Thank you for watching this video and check out landofcoins.com if you haven't already. Thank you.